Hello guys, Ashley here and welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting around to doing a review, not a reaction yet. Um, I'm working on that still, but um, I might react to the finale of season three, season eight of Killing Eve. But right now I'm just going to give you my review on each episode and this is for episode number one. So to start the season off, it was fantastic. I loved episode one, except the ending, and you guys know what I'm talking about. How dare you do that? Kenny was the only guy that was acceptable on the, well, okay, Constantine, he's cool, he's likable, I kind of like him a little bit, but other than that, no other guys on the show are likable. Kenny, come on, why Kenny? I loved Kenny, and I had a feeling I was like, they feature him too much in the episode, and I'm like, oh gosh, please don't let that happen. Kenny, Kenny is who we stand, and look what happens. He ends up flying off the roof of his work building. I, uh, honestly, I don't think it was a suicide. Obviously, someone murdered him. Um, I have my speculations on who might have murdered him, but that's gonna become that's gonna come later on in another review, uh, seeing as episode five is coming up. Um, but yes, this is my review for episode. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this a review from episode one through four, and then I'm going to make another review for um, episodes five through eight. So, episode one, they kill Kenny. They introduce Dasha, which I love, by the way. Like I said, I know Dasha's, I know Dasha's crazy, but at the same time, like, you know, in episodes one and two, she was a likable character. So, okay, back to episode one. So, you introduce Dasha. They show Daddy K. They show Carolyn. They show everybody. Now, they, um, oh, we also get a background on Kenny's co-workers. They're more involved now. Um, so, basically, episode one is how Eve got back in the mix because Kenny got killed. Um, so, now we get to episode two. Um, what happened in episode two? Oh, episode two, you had, at the beginning, you had Kenny's little memorial thing. Eve showed up drunk. Um, and then that's the same episode. Villanelle finds out that she's alive. Oh, I forgot to say this. How about we had a fucking Villanelle wedding to some random chick, which I was like, are you, you kidding me? I'm like, okay, come on now. You already know Villanelle is in game. So I had no worries over that. I cannot stand her wife. Honestly, I don't like her. And yeah, so... Eat. Villanelle got fucking married, and after that, we never saw her again until episode four, which I think, actually, no, actually, in episode three, I think, I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna get to that, so, wedding, episode one, episode two, we get more of Dasha, because uh, she meets up with Villanelle, apparently, Dasha is who trained Villanelle, um, and now Villanelle is rising above obviously dasha is crooked and she's doing this for personal gain and the money that's missing it's obvious that she took it um but now we're getting to a point where dasha is gonna end up screwing villanelle now we don't know what dasha did to villanelle in the past because they haven't revealed that yet but we will be soon to find out uh so episode two was more of villanelle finding out that he was alive um and what else that's kind of it. Like, you know, Carolyn was kind of acting weird over Kenny's death. It was almost like she didn't have any emotions whatsoever. Um, and then Eve. Oh, also in episode two, uh, Villanelle kills this lady. She, we got the first kill of the season where she kills this lady um, in a bookstore. I don't know if that was episode one or two. I think episode, I'm not sure, but Villanelle killed this uh, lady that was in the bookstore. And she imitated Dasha with the whole... Uh, like powder in the face kind of thing, but that was pretty cool. So, okay, now we're on episode three. Episode three is my favorite episode by far, and you guys know why already. So, in episode three, they finally reunite again, as they always do. Hopefully, they'll reunite again soon, maybe episode six. I think episode five is when Villanelle goes home and she meets her family. Uh, so, that whole episode is going to be Villanelle Central, which I'm excited about because she finally meets her parents. If that's her real family, hopefully Constantine doesn't screw her. But, because I still think something's going on with Constantine and, and every time Villanelle asks for her family and stuff like that, he knows too much and he's not saying. But we'll find out. We'll find out, Daddy K. So, anyways, episode three, 
Eve and Vanilla finally reunite on a bus. They kind of scrabble, fight, or whatever. Eve's mostly doing the fighting. Um, and then they end up kissing, which was... I kind of saw it coming when they were on the bus, but then not really. Like, once they started... Like, once Eve was, like, had her in the chokehold and had her and locked up and shit, I was like, oh, my God, what is about to happen? But Eve was... I, I don't know why Eve did it. I don't know if it was to distract her it was because or was it because maybe eve does something to her mentally maybe she is almost like uh she's like at her mercy like around eve or something around villanelle or something it's like there's something this relationship is downright crazy it's like they have a love hate relationship it's like eve is obsessed like we know from season uh one you know she thinks about everything what she's wearing what she's doing who she's doing it with uh and stuff like that what she's eating she, she's obsessed so her obsession kind of is growing to like lust and love we already know eve is in lust with with villanelle because every time she sends her a gift uh she would go and fuck her husband but yeah that's a, that's a whole other story so that was episode three they reunite they kiss and we learn more information about the 12 we got that scare and we thought that Carolyn was dead, which I already knew the bullet had grazed her forehead. Um, and they shot the accountant. So uh, Villanelle shot the accountant. The accountant's dead. Um, what else? So now we get to episode four, which just aired last week. So episode four, you've got Villanelle um, killing. Okay, at the beginning... No, episode three is when she killed that woman. Because I, I'm not sure if the woman that Villanelle killed was her wife. When she threw the thing and she was on the piano, it kind of looked like the same woman to me. But if, but let me know in the comments below because I'm I've yet to figure out who that woman was. I'm almost positive that, that was the woman that she married because episode two, Villanelle found out that Eve was alive. Then right after that, she killed that lady and it had to be her wife. But that lady had a baby, which was weird. So I don't know. But anyway, so episode four is when. Um, it kind of got a little crazy because, as you know, Nico was, okay, I'm not going to say he was finally killed because that's kind of rude. I'll have some, a little compassion. Nico was written off the show, as should have been a long time ago, season one. But Dasha framed Villanelle, making it look like it was her, like it was uh, Villanelle that killed Nico. Obviously, Eve Hopefully, she'll be smart enough to know that Villanelle had nothing to do with it because they're studying, because Eve is studying the case now with the whole powder thing, and that's not Villanelle's style. She does not leave a note saying, still got it. That's Dasha all the way. So, I'm hoping Eve will automatically know, okay, this couldn't have been Villanelle because Villanelle could have killed him three seasons ago. Nico could have been gone a long time ago. So, I hope, I pray... That she knows that it's not Villanelle. And, but, like, Dasha, fuck. Like, at the same time, I was so relieved. Okay. I will, I'm, I'm happy he's gone. I'll just say that. He needs to be gone because he's in the way. He's in the way of Villanelle becoming a thing. And so, now Eve can focus on Villanelle and not so much on Nico, who, had, who wanted nothing to do with her. He just fucking signed divorce papers, for God's sakes. So, yeah. But, um... But like I said, so far, I'm liking how the season is going. Um, I'm not happy about Dasha trying to fame Villanelle because I, I hope Eve does not believe that bullshit. But on the other hand, we have to have some kind of drama. Um, like I said, the future reunion for these two in the finale is going to be off the chain. I'm so excited and I'm nervous at the same time. Um, like, cause you know, they fed us with the kiss and it's like, okay, the kiss has been three seasons deep and it's like, okay, so is that, I wonder if that's going to be the teaser and then that's all we get. See, cause a lot of people were, a lot of reactions that I see, um, people were expe expecting a kiss in season two. So it was I, but I was like, okay, we didn't get that. So I'm like, how, what is this little cat and mouse game going to end? Season one ended in a little teaser. Season two ended in a little teaser, which didn't work out. It ended up even getting shot. Uh, obviously, we knew she wasn't dead because there wouldn't be season three. Um, but it's like I, I'm trying. I want to know where this season is going. In my opinion, Dasha 
possibly will be dead by the finale or die during the finale. And also, I don't want this, but I'm thinking because of this little close call with Carolyn, I have a feeling they're going to really kill her off this season. I don't know why my gut feeling is that because usually when they tease you with characters deaths like that, it usually ends up happening. So I'm thinking Carolyn might be dying this season. Season, um, Dasha for sure, unless the finale is around Dasha and maybe she escapes or something like that. But I think uh, Carolyn, Dasha, hopefully Daddy K is okay. I doubt Constantine. Anything will happen to him. But um, yeah, poor Eve. Like she's seen so much first Bill. Then her husband, and it's like she lost her job, and I'm like, geez, like what more can this woman take? Uh, he's a good one, he's a strong one, but at the same time, she is going to be a wreck because she actually watched Nico die. Why she just collapsed and did nothing and just watched the man die? I would have been running to see who it was. Like she's like so traumatized to where she just sits there and just look, watch, literally watches Nico die. And at the same time, in my head, I'm I'm like laughing that this man just got killed, which is which is so bad. But yeah, Nico, he was in the way. Like his his character was pointless. Like us seeing him in an institution because he's because he was all because he was locked up in a storage. He's so traumatized. Like he was he was bitching too much. It's like you dude, you you you're you're fucking a downer, man. You're a downer. You had to go. So I'm not saying he deserved to die. I'm just happy he's out the way. He's gone now. Even though now Eve's gonna be more obsessed about fucking who killed Nico. And obviously it wasn't Villanelle because first of all, Villanelle wasn't even in the same country during the, the killing. That's from what it looks like. Because the way they did episode four was a unique timeline. Like instead of showing where everyone was, it just showed their name and like their story. And then they, they kind of reversed everything and then they put it back together. It was kind of cool. I The style was something to get used to, but it was easy to follow. But yeah, so episode five is coming up in a few days. And I'm excited to see Villanelle interact with her family as if it's her real family. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm looking forward to another reunion. So my next reaction is going to be, um, I know I'm missing something key here. If I miss something key in this little review for episodes one through four, put it in the comments below. Cause I know it's, it's so much going on with this show. I know I left something out, but, um, yeah, other than that, this was my reaction to season three episodes one through four of killing Eve. So far so good. Episode five coming up. Like I mentioned before, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited for what's to come because as we know, Killing Eve can get real crazy. You guys comment, like, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys in the next review. All right, bye.